Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. And today we have more RPG goodness. This time we're talking about Savage Worlds, Map Pack 2, Atlantis Pyramid for Rifts. Again, Savage Worlds Adventure Edition, Map Pack 2, Atlantis Pyramid for Rifts. Base price $14.99. This pack contains one large double side poster map, 30 by 24, marked with a one inch grid, ideal for use in your Rift games. This map includes part of an exterior of an Atlantis pyramid. On the reverse is the interior chambers, combined with other Rift maps to bring your post-apocalyptic table to life. Savage World is brought to you by Pinnacle Entertainment Group and Palladium Books Incorporated. This map was released in 2000. 21, and there's your barcode information. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what kind of goodness we have on the inside. Of course, we have the great dust jackets. Again, as I've said in all my other videos that I've done for unboxing for maps, is the fact that uh, I always keep all the dust jackets. It's the best thing to keep your map safe. You just simply open it, slide a bad boy right in, and put it on your bookshelf. And right there, it keeps it nice and straight. It tells you right off the bat when you're going through look for it. It tells you right on the spine what the map is. And I, there's people I know who just chuck these out. I'm not one of those guys. I always keep the dust, the dust jacket. So I'm going to take that off for a minute so I can give you some ideas of what we're talking about. Now, with all these maps, as always, you got to crack them because, again, they're a little stiff when they come right out of those things. So you just got to crack them. I know it squeaks a little bit, but... But you got to crack them. When you crack them, it ensures that it's going to be nice and flat. And it's on your table to be used. So there you go. And then when I open up a little more, I know it gives you a preview before the preview. But I want to make sure that it's nice and flat when you show you it all. And I hate to say it this way. This technique always works because the maps always come out perfectly flat. All right, so we have the interior and the exterior. So let's take a look at the exterior first. Again, this is Atlantis Pyramid. So let's start the, start the base of the pyramid. So again, if you want to use this for you know, for an Egyptian pyramid, you could do that as well. It doesn't have to just be an Atlantean. But again, you know, and it's, you know, the map says it was created specifically for Savage Worlds. But again, with Savage Worlds, uh, I don't particularly play Savage Worlds, uh, you know, but uh, the maps are fantastic. So that's why I picked this up. So I'm going to turn it this way, actually, just so we can get a little, well, see the bottom here. This is extremely vibrant, extremely colorful. Again, five inch grids. Um, one inch grids, I'm sorry, one inch grids, each grid meaning it's five feet in the game, just like it would be for D&D &D or Starfinder or Pathfinder or Aliens, the role playing game, or uh, Blade Runner. Like I say, you can use these maps for anything that you once you purchase it, it's up to you how you use it, what system you want to use it for, or anything of that nature. It can be used for a Roman game, your, you know, your own set of rules that you have cool statue right there very very cool which will be very helpful when i do my example with the 3d terrain in there because i have a couple of statues we could throw on here i have one statue that i could throw on here let's put it that way and so that's again beautiful colors very vibrant the, the trees all that stuff again very very cool and then we can show you the last part here and that's the part we started with right there. So again, it's a beautiful map. So I'm going to show you from all sides. Once again, start from here. Do the turnaround. Again, it's a really, really beautiful map. Now I have lots and lots of these maps and I gotta tell you something, this is perfect for ancients. This is really, really cool. 
again, I do lots of miniature games with miniature figures for, with homebrew, uh, homebrewed rules systems. Um, at 20, again, these maps are perfect for 28 millimeter figures. Again, if you use figures that are smaller or bigger, you would have to adjust the, the movement scale and everything else for that. Again, that's the entrance right there. Very, very cool. So I'm just gonna pop this out of here like this real quick because this way we could show you this kind of thing here because I do happen to have a couple statues. So I can throw a statue over there, blip up. Show you what it would look like with 3D, with a 3D, you know, figures on there. Make it pop just a little bit more. Again, you could throw a oil drum over here. Throw another one over here somewhere. Uh, you have a you have a this over here somewhere I don't know where but I'll put it over here just so crate was left behind I'm gonna throw a crate up here it doesn't really matter where you put them throw a crate up there and your adventures are coming in this is a Starfinder standee so you get an idea with that this is a pawn from Parcheesi so if you want to just use this as a figure you could do that too as your character there you go all right and then if you want to go you want to have a figure that's painted. There you go. Again, this is a larger base, so it's going to take up more than one of the squares. But it's still the same. There you go. Put them right over here. Those are that's a 28 millimeter figure. And then if I want to use Night Gaunts from Warhammer as the as the villains of this scenario, let's just say. Here they are coming straight up and attacking our heroes who are making their way through this pyramid. So they're all attacking from various sides. So again, the 3D, uh, again, the figures make the maps pop, whether it's a standee, whether it's a pawn piece from a, from a board game, or it's an actual painted figure. As you can tell, it really makes the boards pop and they look fantastic on here. So I have no complaints about this, but I just use those for examples. All right, so I'm gonna take them off real quick. Again, nothing that I just showed you is included in the map. Therefore, example purposes only that if you choose to use, uh, make the investment, use pawns or use the standees or use 3D terrain, you know, it just makes the map pop that much more. I just wanted to sh show you how they kind of look with these things on the maps so there you go so let's flip it over so that's the external let's take a look at the internal so we'll start over here nice walkways different types of stuff that you could find different things you can loot Sorry about the glare from the, sorry from the glare from the lamps. Okay. You can see more of the, there you go, here's some more of those. You got a bunch of rooms, as you could tell, sleeping areas. rooms that you're going to go investigate hallways looks like some statues some what do you have here and then you got uh, some tables and chairs again impassable terrain obviously you can walk through here you know, staircase going out or coming in so that might be your entrance that's your foyer plants, some chairs again, some sleeping quarters over there, looks like that's to be a table over there, what do we got here, oh, that's a statue right there, more hallways, so again we'll lay this flat, 
so you can get the general gist from the, from the beginning part. So I'm going to say I'm going to consider that the entrance there. And again, we're going to flip around the whole map so you get a general gist as to what it looks like. Again, highly detailed, beautiful colors, high quality, definitely worth the purchase, 100% worth the purchase. And these maps, again, are very helpful for all of your RPG games. Again, this is built for, or this was created for Savage Worlds and the Rift system. Uh, but again, you don't have to use it for that. Um, use it for whatever you choose, whatever system you choose to use it for whether it be your, be your own rule set that you, you create yourself for RPGs. Uh, when I look at this, this may not be the right. I've reviewed some of the other maps that they've made. Uh, for me, I like the example, I love to play all out, um, The Walking Dead All Out War. Would it necessarily be used in this context? Probably not. But for something for Starfinder, for Pathfinder, for D&D, definitely, definitely, definitely without a doubt. I even have a rule set for um, uh, something about Atlantis. So, I mean, I could use this board for that as well. So I'm just going to flip it around this way just a little bit so we get a general gist of what it looks like in the center. And again, I'm just going to throw a couple of little things in here just so we get an idea. If you wanted to have a center point where we had a statue in the center over here and people are moving towards it. Again, we saw something over here that had like there was a crate somewhere. So over here, so I'm just going to put that in there. So you get the general idea. Throw some barrels over here if you want. You can throw a barrel blocking the walkway over there. Something kind of hanging out over here somewhere, wherever. Again, it doesn't really matter where you place it. I'm just putting it over here just for argument's sake. Again, you put the standee over here. You put yourself a pawn from a Parcheesa game. Put one over here. There's another character that you can use. Of course, I could use We have our magic spellcaster here. Again, the base is a little bit larger, but put them on there. You could see how he would look there. And, of course, we could, uh, again, throw another statue over here somewhere. doesn't matter where we put them. Okay. And then we've got guys coming out to attack from all different angles. They surprised our heroes, and they're coming out of, coming out of the woodwork, coming to attack us. There you go. And you can kind of see how, I'll put him into the center just so you can see him a little better. But again, you can see how this, the figures, the 3D, ter uh, the 3D terrain and the figures make the board pop even more, as you could tell. Do you need it? No, I could use paper terrain. You know, I could do that. Like I said, I could use poor cheesy, buy a bunch of old board games for two bucks, three bucks at a discount store. Just keep those pieces and throw them out on the table. You don't need to go with the pawns. You don't need to go with the figures where you have to paint them up and stuff like that, where they're more expensive, obviously. Um, but this is what it is. All right. I'm using these just for example purposes only. And they are not included in the map when you purchase them. So let me just take those off very quickly. Again, I show you these just to show you how beautiful the maps are with these 3D figures thrown into the mix. So there you have it. That's everything that's included in this unboxing of Savage Worlds, Map Pack 2, Atlantis Pyramid for the Rifts RPG. As always, thank you so much for joining us for this unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can always give us a thumbs up leave a comment below. You can also hit that subscribe button. This way you're kept up to date as to any time we release any new content to the page. As always, thank you so much for joining us. Be safe, be well, enjoy the remainder of your day, and we'll catch you on the next unboxing video.